Hello viewer, welcome to Be Your Own CEO Show. My name is Priska Chuki. Every time, you know, we keep on wondering how do I become a doctor? How does a president become the president? How does an engineer become an engineer? And every time I tell you that you can always be whoever you want to be as long as you have the right attitude and you press the right buttons. Today I'm so privileged to host an alumni of Makerere University and he's also uh, aspiring to be the MP of Budalangi come 2022. He's the son of the soil and uh, I know he has gone through a lot to become who he is. He has overcome and I know today he will help us become our own CEO at our place of service. Welcome to the show. Welcome sir. Thank you. With your language of choice, you can just tell our viewer your name and who you, what you do. Yes. Mm. My, my name is uh, Dismas Okeli Musebe. Yes. Uh, I come from Budadani. Yes. Ndika village. Yes. Uh, I went to school in... Uh, my primary was uh, Busagwa Primary. Yeah. Then I left there, I went to Mayenje in yes. Busia. Then yes. from there, I proceeded on my education up to Makere University. Yes. While I was in Makere, mm -hmm. I became a student leader. Yes. Was elected by the students. Yes. To represent them. Mm -hmm. uh, after after my education, mm -hmm. I went ahead and uh, worked. I worked with the Kiriso Kemo, that yes. was a member of parliament. Yes. And I proceeded also, I worked with my, the one who was my lecturer at the university, mm -hmm. the East African community, that was speaker. Yes. Uh, Margaret Ziwa. Yeah. Then, you know, in my real life now, what I'm doing, mm -hmm. I'm a business person. Yes. I do my business here in Nairobi. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say, mm -hmm. it does not matter where you come from. Yes. Or what you have gone through. Mm -hmm. Because I come from a very humble background. Yes. A, uh, a situation whereby I was able to struggle to study. Yes. There are some times I could not even afford or even have a meal. Wow. That was what you were all level? That's my primary. Yes. We could go to school. Mm -hmm. Last lunch time was a problem. Wow. We didn't have anything to eat. Mm -hmm. We could even the, the only thing we could afford to get was sugarcane. Wow. But that one did not stop us. Mm -hmm. I, that one did not stop me from mm -hmm. proceeding. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I can say if you are the most important thing to be to have motivation mm -hmm. you motivate yourself you motivate yourself yes and be focused wow. and then you need to identify what do i want to do where do i want to be yes that's the most critical thing it does yes. not matter where you come from it yes. does not matter your background mm -hmm. does not matter what what you have gone through in life mm -hmm. aim higher aim higher you will achieve it you will achieve it where i am now mm -hmm. And where I came from, mm -hmm. if I reflect my journey, mm -hmm. you will discover that even I, it may take almost like 100 pages for me to just write a book. <laughs> to write your story. To write my story. <laughs> yeah. Explain where I've come from. Yeah. So the most, what I'm trying to tell young people, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what is happening to your life now at the moment. Mm -hmm. the, it doesn't matter what you go through at this moment. Yes. Even if you're in the, there in the village, in my village, Mundika, mm. or you're in Mubamba, mm. or Madua, mm. focus is very critical in whatever you do. Wow. During my education, mm -hmm. when I was in Makere, yes. during my first year at the university, mm -hmm. my second semester of my first year in, at the university, Mm. It was a very challenging moment. Wow. I almost dropped out of school wow. because of school fees. Wow. I tried to reach out to, to be helped in terms of uh, whatever we bursaries, bursaries and yeah. what. Yeah. 
I was told you're in a foreign country. Mm -hmm. The act does not allow you to get the bursary. Wow, that was disheartening. So I said, no, I cannot allow this to continue. Mm. I have to proceed. And I said, the only way I can do, the only way I can move now, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what is going to happen. Mm. I proceeded to contest for leadership of Makere University. Have you not completed your, you completed your school fees? Yes. You still contested? Yes, I still contested for leadership of the university. Yes. Without even my sponsor knowing that I was running. Okay. <laughs> because it was a decision that I was making which was very critical and I said the only way I can make, I can see myself through, mm -hmm. I have to make this decision. So I went, mm -hmm. I contested for the leadership of the university. Mm -hmm. Were you going and, to be paid? And my, well, why I'm coming, I'm mm. coming now. <laughs> okay. So I said, the only way I should do this mm. is to contest. So I contested for the International University. Mm -hmm. I appealed to my fellow students. Mm -hmm. They voted for me. Okay. And I won the election. Okay. So when I won the elections, mm -hmm. now other privileges, whatever I could get. You know, there is no payment there. Okay. You are given allowances. So I could collect this allowance that I was being given. Mm -hmm. And that's the one which was paying my school fees. Wow. Until I finished the university. So you had to be strategic? So I had to, I had to be, yes. Because I knew okay. if I was to come back home, mm -hmm. it would have been a disaster for me. Wow. So I decided to, to venture into something mm -hmm. that I knew here, it's like you're going, you're going to a cross line. You don't know where you're heading. Wow. But I said, it's a decision I've made, I have to proceed. So it is my allowance that I was getting wow. at the university that paid my school fees wow. until I finished the university. Wow. Even when, when my, the person who was sponsoring me mm. came to, for my graduation, mm. he couldn't believe. Because he was wondering, <laughs> where, did I get, where did he get the money? <laughs> it took him almost one full semester mm. to discover that I was a student leader. Wow. What? And it's a decision, and I, I had kept quiet because I knew if he mm. would have discovered... I'm actually asking, why didn't you tell him? <laughs> yes, I knew if he had discovered that I was running, mm. it was going to be very tough for me because he knew maybe he would have thought that I used this. Maybe what the he was giving me is to is run. What, to run. Mm. But because I, I saw how he was mm. and what was happening and the burden of the entire family mm. because he was the one educating all of us. Wow. So I said no, I have to proceed. Wow. Because there were also other people behind me mm. who were also in school. Mm. And the burden of school fees was high. Mm. So I said here, if I make a decision to drop out, mm. it will be it will kill everybody. So I have to proceed. So I ran for the, oh, for the leadership, I was elected. Then the allowance that I was getting is what made me who I am today. Wow. Because I cleared the university. When I was in the leadership, in fact, I had forgotten one thing. When I was in the leadership of the university, mm. I even managed again mm -hmm. to be elected mm. to sit at the board of CEOs, Kenyan CEOs oh. in Uganda oh. to represent the students. Really? So I was sitting with people who were making decisions Wow. in their companies. So that is where your leadership yes. qualities or other traits yes. have come from. Yes. yes. So <laughs> at that moment, it was very easy now because yes. decisions that we were making there, mm. I could also make a de decision that were helping other students. Oh. So I knew what they were going through mm. and what I had mm. gone through mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that made me now make clear decision. Wow. So that's how I proceeded mm -hmm. from there. Mm -hmm. I worked in Uganda mm -hmm. some few months. Mm -hmm. Then I came back to Kenya. Mm -hmm. I've been leadership throughout, working with politicians, mm -hmm. up to even when I went to Arusha. Mm -hmm. I also worked with the speaker of the East African community okay. in Arusha. That's why I was able to, to proceed with my, with my life from there.
Okay. Yes. So it was not all rosy for you. Maybe yes. before you wind up, if you would love to, uh, what advice would you give to this kind of uh, youth or rather this, this, this generation that uh, believe in popcorn, popcorn things, like there's no waiting, there's no perseverance. I have to do it today, tomorrow I get it. Life is about perseverance. Mm. If you want to achieve and achieve tangible things, mm. you need to persevere. There is nothing you will get in this life mm. if you don't struggle. Mm. But struggling strategically. <laughs> you just don't struggle. Don't struggle. Strategically, strategically. struggle. <laughs> the decision that you make, mm. there are decisions that you make. Mm. That if you are not careful, these decisions, they are hard decisions. You may be, and the, in fact, to me, mm -hmm. the time when I want to make a serious decision is the time when now I have to think and remain alone and start mm -hmm. thinking. Mm -hmm. Because that's the time when you you rediscover yourself. Wow. What mm -hmm. do you, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to encourage young people, mm -hmm. or those people who believe that uh, the only way you can uh, achieve, you can succeed in life, is maybe getting through shortcuts. Mm -hmm. No. Yes, you can. You can use shortcuts and achieve. Mm. But then, I think it needs to be the right shortcut. Okay. Don't use shortcuts that will, will distort or damage your image. Mm. But life is about struggle. Process. Process. Mm. Even those ones who are in school now, mm and they are facing what we faced. Mm. It is not the end of the road. Wow. You still have life mm -hmm. to live, mm -hmm. you still have life to succeed, mm -hmm. and you are having father. Mm. Everything that you do, put God first. Wow. Very critical. God, when you, when you are faced with a problem, mm -hmm. before you handle that problem, pray to God, and tell God, I'm here. Mm. Please, you are the one who brought me this world. Mm. You know why I'm here. Mm. Give me the way. Open for me the way. Mm. There is nothing that is impossible. You can even become a president. That's true. Mm -hmm. If you look at the lifestyle of Obama, where Obama came from, mm -hmm. and he came to become the, the president of this, uh, the powerful uh, country in the world. Mm -hmm. So the most important is the determination mm -hmm. and Hard work. Thank you. Det you hard work and determination will make you achieve. And above all, mm. put God first. Put God first. Yes. Finally, aspiring yes. MP for Budalangi. Yes. Twenty twenty two. Yes. Wow. You have said here that people have to keep their focus and yes. they have to plan strategically. Yes. Why are MP seat? Uh, you know. Mm. I went through a lot. Yes. And I went through a lot in Budalani. Mm. And I've seen, I've been under all this leadership. Mm. I've seen they have performed. Mm -hmm. They also have had their challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing, mm. if you look at what I've told you, you mm. discover that I've been leadership yes, yes. throughout. Yes. I've been leadership throughout my life. Mm. I ask myself oh, now, if a, a good leader is not a leader who would remain at the periphery. You look at what is happening, mm -hmm. they, where people are suffering, mm -hmm. they may be having challenges, mm -hmm. then you say, let me stay aside. You need to be part and parcel of the process. Okay. And that's why I said no. I would have done other things. Mm -hmm. But I said, I cannot leave my people continue going through problems mm. when I may be part of the solution. Okay. And that's why I decided that uh, for that case, mm. I should run for this office okay. of member of parliament. Okay. Because you cannot correct from outside. You correct, you from, correct inside. from inside. <laughs> okay. You can also solve problems from outside. You become part of the problem. <laughs> then so you then the you now you come up with a solution. Okay. Yes. Your final word to your viewer who is a, a member of Budalangi constituency or any other person concerning how they can be their own CEO or their place of service? Uh, the most important thing mm. 
is for you to discover what you want to do. Okay. Once you know what you want to do, work hard to achieve it. Okay. And make it better. Yes. Work hard mm -hmm. to achieve it mm -hmm. and ensure that you make it better for other generations to come mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and feel part of it. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching Beyond CEO. I've been talking to aspiring member of parliament for Budalagi constituency, Mr. Dismas Okelo. Thank you for watching Beyond CEO show. My name is Priska Achuki.